It's Real Talk with Rick, so let's get started. And so sometimes you think, man, this could only happen to me. And, and so as you know, I live in, in Weatherford, Texas. Now, maybe you don't know that, but I, I live in Weatherford, Texas, and obviously Rock Bottom Outreach. Praise God, man, we are picking up steam out here. And, and so I, I have discovered the Smoothie King, and, and so I love the Smoothie King because I don't slow down half the time to eat, so I'll go to Smoothie King and get me one of them protein drinks. And so I get up to the window, and this is a true story, and, uh, and, uh, I, and I get up there, and uh, my bill was like eight bucks, right? And, and so they ran my card, and that girl goes, uh, excuse me, sir, your, your card only approved uh, $2.50. I said, excuse me? She said, it, your card only approved $2.50. She goes, but, so, but it also, you paid for the people behind you. And I'm like, okay, so, okay, what? So my car, you only, my card authorized $2.50, but somehow I have paid for the people behind me? Explain that. Because now... I got to go to the people behind me and borrow six bucks <laughs> to pay for my drink because they got all my money. This is a true story. I couldn't just, I couldn't make this up. And, and so it was a mistake. I mean, cl not, I mean, clearly, but God doesn't make mistakes. You know, I, and so I had to use another card. And so I had to make a phone call when I was done and said, um, Something wrong with my account because I know I have more money than that in my account. And it was a mistake. But here's the deal. Sometimes God wants to teach you to think beyond yourself, to, to think about somebody else because we, we just get locked in. And, and it's called being self-absorbed. Word I never knew till 08 and I heard Jeff Mitchell use it. I was very self-absorbed, meaning you think about you. And so sometimes God, I think, will... Um, Put people in your path, especially when you say, God, use me. And he will. And God used me to pay for the people's smoothie drink behind me that I couldn't even pay for my own smoothie drink. And, and so, you know, careful what you pray for, just, just honestly. And, and so, you know, where am I going with this? Well, you know, I was tagged on Facebook, and, and it, was, it was Kimberly. And it said, have you ever walked with somebody that greets the entire community? I, I, that's me. I own that. I do greet everybody. I do say hello to everybody. But, and, and that's just how I am. But I want you to think about this. That um, maybe you saying hi is a game changer. Maybe they thought of the, doing the unthinkable that morning to say, you know what? Nobody would even miss me. Nobody watch. No one will even say hi to me today. True story. Or at school. You're at school and, and some, you eat by yourself. Or a kid eats by themselves to say, hey, how are you doing? Come eat with me. What is that? That's being Jesus. I, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna tell you what I, I don't, I can't, stand, and this is just me, okay? So it's not a very just real talk, right? The traditional church stand up and shake somebody's hand. What? Why do? You, what? Why do we have to be told to do that? That's what you tell a five-year-old or a six-year-old. Hey. Shake the nice man's hand or say hello to the nice man. We should not have to be told to do that. Man, if you've got Jesus, I mean, really, and you want to be like Jesus, that's an automatic. We should automatically, hey, how are you doing? Hey, would you like to sit with us? Hey, I've never, I've never seen you here before. What is your name? We should not be having to tell a congregation to do that. I'm just being honest with you. And what are you, you're enabling. I mean, you're really enabling people sometimes from the ability to be led by the Holy Spirit. I, I mean, I, anyway, enough of all that. But let me ask you this. So what is it you need to work on? You know, we all need to work on something, obviously. And, and so, um, you know, maybe God was trying to teach me something at the Smoothie King, you know, because, again, uh, you know, the Bible talks about, you know, to give our best, you know, that we give our best. Well, I gave my best money to the people behind me, and I didn't even know I was doing it. Um, so think about it to say, man, what is it about, you know, the, the Beatitudes? You know, what is it that maybe you just aren't good at? And, and I would love to see your response if you're willing. I mean, what is it you need to be better at? You know, we used to have shirts that rock bottom outreach said free hugs. But I encourage, don't chase people around and force the hug on them. Let them know that it's, it's free and open your arms.
have a great day.